Hello everyone and welcome to the Sri Lankan series. In these episodes we'll be sharing our experiences and adventures with you of this beautiful jewel of an island. We begin in Nagombo and spend a few days heading south along the coast as far as Tangal. We stop off at various places along the way and pay a visit to the famous stilt fisherman, something I've wanted to see since I was a child. From there we head inland and up to the mountainous area of Nuwara Alia and Ella, where tea paddies are aplenty and the scenery is just awe-inspiring. If we continue north via train and bus, heading through lush landscapes up to Kandy and then up as far as beautiful Sigiriya and the famous Polinarua UNESCO site. From there we make our way back to Nagombo slowly, stopping off at Habarana where we spend a night in the treehouse and then eventually stop off at Pinawala to see the elephants, my favourite animal, playing around in the river Maha. We met some of the most amazing people along the way, we had some great adventures, we relaxed a little bit and saw some unbelievable sights. This is our experience of the small island that gives it all. Welcome to Sri Lanka. Hello everyone. Hi. We're at Nine Arch Bridge here in Ella. So we've just come up onto like a little bank here. There's no one up here. And it's a perfect little view of the train. So this is the train that goes from Ella to Kandy. The old locomotive. You can see there's people hanging out of the people hanging out of the doors and all of that. Looks very busy actually. But yeah, we found ourselves a lovely little viewpoint up here. There's no one else here with us. There's plenty of people down there next to the train. So this is the train we're getting on Monday morning in a couple of days up to Candy. Okay, so we're just making our way down to the actual bridge here. And there's people selling, selling corn, coconuts. Crazy how a bridge can be just be so famous. <laughs> so it's like 9.30 a.m. and we thought we'd come down just to catch the train which you just saw. Just like many other people here. Ah, uh, yeah. So there's like a little tea plantation down here too. There it is. Nine Arch Bridge. So I've just scrambled down through the tea plantation. <laughs> no, most people haven't come this far down to be honest, but maybe I'm going to struggle to get back up. I don't know. Let's see. Do I keep going down? Yeah, why not? We're only here once, right? <laughs> tea plantation just scrambled all the way down I didn't quite know there was the tea plantation here as well it's quite a, quite a scramble down not many people have made the effort to come down there's loads of people up there but they don't seem to have come down here there's one more person and now it's time to go back up there <laughs> so we're just on the train tracks we thought we had to do it. Everyone else is doing it, so. <laughs> Just gonna take a little walk to the bridge and back, I think. Maybe walk through the tunnel if Far's feeling adventurous. So that was the little walk through the tunnel to be done and it was also it was also nice to get a little bit of shade for a while because it's pretty warm so but yeah mucho calor so this is the other side of the bridge basically 
and then behind, behind me there, that, that leads to Ella, that way. So I think a lot of people kind of get a tuk-tuk down here, and then they walk back to Ella along the along the railway track. But we had a we've got a scooter, so we're just going to go back to the same place basically. But we thought we'd come for a little walk through the tunnel, obviously, while we're here now. So we're heading back up now. It's a bit of a, an easy path and you have to pass people as you can see. It's not the easiest, easiest thing to do. <laughs> it's easier to come up than down. As you can see, the steps are quite, it's quite slippery terrain, but... <laughs> She's using all fours. The final bit. With a, with a, I think it's this way. Loka. So we've just come down into the town for some lunch and we've taken ourselves to this place called UFO. Really cool building as you can see, everything's wooden. So food's just come. So we're gonna head over there now. Here she is, the Loka Mexicana. But look at the chairs and everything. Everything very wooden, some nice food. I went for the chicken burger. Fabiola went for the vegetable soup. Yeah, see? So they do nice coffees and everything here. There's also an upstairs, which I'll show you in a minute. There's loads of like bean bags and stuff. It's like to chill out up there as well, so. Yeah, pretty nice little spot to eat and watch the world go by. So we just finished our food. Um, now we're just heading up upstairs. So we're just sitting right in the corner. As you can see the street down there. Bean bags going on. Feet out. See, so we're just gonna chill here for a little while. With a coffee and a beer and the views so getting down to a bit of bob. So I've just brought myself to my favourite little viewpoint from where we are. It's absolutely stunning here, you know. I mean the sun's going down, it's going behind clouds. But that's nice because it's cool. Very fresh. All you can hear is bird song pretty much. So this is our last evening here. Oh, I'm gonna miss that silence, just listen to it. As you can see here, while I was taking in this view for one last time, I thought I'd set up my camera and capture the moment. I'd been on my own there for a good 10 minutes or so already. While we were staying here in Ella, there was always a young guy that we would see. He would always be either at the bottom of the road to our accommodation, trying to help us find a ride into town or trying to find us a guide for a trip or something like that. Or he'd be passing on his scooter, hooting his horn with a big smile on his face. It was just surreal how we'd see him every time pretty much when we were out and about you know anyway randomly on this occasion he just so happened to be passing by and stopped perfectly in shot may i add while i was filming travel is awesome Good morning everybody so it's 4 30 a.m i'm doing the sunrise 
walk up Ella's Rock this morning. So I'm just waiting for my guide. He said he'd be here at 4.30 and it's just coming up to 4.30 now. So I don't know if you can hear in the distance the dogs barking, but I've been up since 4am getting ready and the dogs have non-stop barking. Listen. Oh, they go quiet when I want them to bark. Listen. Unbelievable. But there was a dog just... Yeah, here we go. I don't know how people sleep around here. Honestly, that would drive me insane <laughs> every day. But anyway, I'm just waiting for my... for my, uh, for my guide. Hopefully he's going to get up. There's no lights on, but we'll see. That's what I'm doing up at this hour. So there's loads of stars in the sky. It's so dark here. Um, but yeah, I'll get back to you when I start my when I start my walk. All right, peace. just got to the top as you can see the sun's just about to rise I think absolutely beautiful just hear some frogs in the distance there's a few more people up here not too many maybe five or six and also a dog <laughs> that followed us all the way up it's made it to the top with us which is quite funny I don't know if you can see there but the clouds are quite low and the mountains are just popping out the top of the clouds there. So I just opened my bag up to have a sandwich <clears throat> and the dog that followed us up came straight over to have a nibble. Sun's just about to come up. Very peaceful up here. So that was sunrise on Ella Rock. A few more people come up here now. Yeah, so just down there is Ella Town. Okay. I'm gonna head back down through the forest. It'll be nice to see it in the daytime because as we walked up obviously you saw it's it was dark so it'll be like a new walk. A new walk coming down so Yes, very, very nice. So we're on our way down and there's another dog on its way up, just down here. <laughs> they seem to follow people up and this is the third one. It's good exercise for them and I guess they get a bit of food at the top if there's people with food. Hola, hello. Oh, hello. And look how friendly they are. Huh? So, so friendly. Are you going to the top? You've missed the sunrise. You've missed the sunrise. You're too late. You slept in, you slept in bed. <laughs> Stunning little walk through the woods. 
<clears throat> you can just see the sun coming through the trees. It's still very early. It's like 6.45 a.m. I think. Little Ellis Peak, yeah? yeah. Ah, okay. So that's Little Adam's Peak over there. That's another like hike you can do around here, which is quite a bit lower. It's lower than the one we've yeah. been to, yeah? So Ellis Rock, I thought was going to be lower than Adam Adam's Peak, but that's it in the distance right there. And we went up kind of there. So. Yeah, what an absolutely stunning walk back. So I don't know if you can hear in the distance, there's, uh, I've just been told by the guide here, it's because of the full moon last night. So you can hear the Buddhist uh, like chant from the temples around here. So we could hear one before and now there's a second one going. So they do that every full moon apparently. So uh, it's quite nice listening to that as we're walking down. So you've just got that in the background and the birds and the trees. Amazing, amazing. Some kids playing down there, <laughs> chopping up some wood. So there's a little settlement here. It's like a little, yeah, like a little cafe basically. It's good that you've got the option of having some fruit and drinks. Ah, oh, they do rice and curry and everything also, so they're just setting up shop as we're heading down, so. Good business for them. So here we are, back in the tea plantations. Looks very different in the daytime. Obviously it was dark when we came. So, yeah, someone obviously owns these tea plantations and they just don't mind you walking through them. Which is very nice. Yeah, so we're on a, on a bridge that we walked over on the way up here and there's like a little waterfall just beyond this little pond here. Ah, so he's brought me to the waterfall. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, very small but very beautiful. Look at that. Now this little house here is growing their own beans, as you can see. Little bean farm. And here's the this house here. Oh, we're walking right past it. <laughs> here we are. Back on the railway track. So we came along this this morning, but it was pitch, pitch black, so we couldn't really see anything, but it's very safe to walk along the railway lines here, <laughs> not like in the UK. It's very nice. Reminds me of the film Stand By Me. I don't know if any of you have seen that film. It's an old 80s film, but yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. A couple of guys here. Enjoying the sunshine, listening to the Buddhist chant. Yeah. Morning. Hello. I mean, you can't blame them. There's a couple of guys here selling some coconuts and drinks. Tea. Some tea going on. Hello, hello. Good morning. So nice. And yeah, people just use this as a walkway. Yeah. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Up to the mountain. So there's a couple here that I just walked past and they had these two dogs in tow. There they go. They're probably going to follow them all the way up to the top of the mountain as well. <laughs> they must just think they're going to get some food or something, I guess. 
because why else would you walk all the way up a, a big mountain? Maybe for the view, maybe they enjoy the view. Who knows? There's a farmer down there, <laughs> watering his plants. Okay, so we've got a bit of traffic here. <laughs> Kind of, okay. <laughs> oh well. So the final few steps here, this is the place we're staying. Yeah, that was a nice little walk. When the sun comes out, it gets pretty, pretty difficult. There was people walking up the mountain now, just passing us. I wouldn't like to do that in the sunshine. I'm glad I did it in the dark and for the sunrise so yeah if you're ever in Ella definitely worth a hike up Ella's rock very nice especially when you get a really good guide like this guy so okay folks so we hope you enjoyed that section of our adventure in this spectacular country coming up in the next episode we leave Ella we take the famous train ride from Ella to Nuwara Elia where we cruise through lush landscapes and amazing scenery. We spend a couple of days in the Warrelia, and while we're there, we spend some time exploring the town, which still to this day has a huge British influence and a beautiful lake. We also visit a local tea factory, as tea is the main industry here. We hope to see you there, but until then, feel free to subscribe, take care, and have fun. Peace. <laughs>